Hi, I'm Nils Kimmel, director of the short film Imposter, and in this video I'll break down how it was made and hopefully give some insights into creating the mood of a horror film. The film is about a young woman who is stalked by a mysterious monster who she inadvertently lets into the house. Working within the Canadian COVID guidelines, we limited the number of people on set. Our team consisted of our cast, Zach and Chantel, with my brother Carl as the DP, Kira as the hair and makeup artist, Daly as the sound mixer and monster actor, and Isaac as our behind the scenes shooter and gaffer. Gear-wise, we used the Zhiyun Crane 2S Pro Kit with the Transmount Follow Focus Unit, combined with the new Red Komodo and the Sigma 18-35, Sigma 50, as well as the Canon 70-200 for one shot. Good? Yeah. And then let's see the look out. Okay, um, let's let's have you walk out a little slower. Okay. And let's, let's cut the amount of paces you do in half. Okay. Give me 10 minutes, is the back door locked? I was operating and pulling focus for the gimbal shots, which were the majority of the film. All of the moving shots you see were on the gimbal. We didn't use sliders or dollies. The 2S was up for the task, even with a relatively heavy camera like the Komodo. Operating and pulling focus at the same time allowed Carl to keep his attention on the lighting and composition of the shot. Yeah. The Transmount follow focus was reliable and super easy to use, and worked perfectly, even using non-cine geared glass like the Sigma art lenses. I also love how on the gimbal each axis locks separately, so balancing is super streamlined. All of this made for a faster run and gun style shooting which I like. Welcome to the back. You don't need to be afraid. Okay. Now the camera movement was quite subtle. We didn't want to distract too much from the story, and the slower camera movement creates more of a tense atmosphere. One way we were able to achieve slow and precise camera moves Buttery. was sliding the gimbal along a table on a table runner. This way, we were able to make the shot as smooth as a slider shot, but you have the whole table to play instead of just being limited to the linear track. Action. Another way to get buttery smooth footage is to use a hoverboard while using the gimbal. Just make sure your actors don't discover it. Care about me? I'm scared that you're gonna fall. No, I'm a spooky ghost. Ghosts don't fall. All right. No, <laughs> no it takes sense. Action. Oh. <laughs> the first scene, the running one, was shot a few days later. There really wouldn't be any other way to get a shot like this without a gimbal. And even if you could, why would you want to? That was good. We're going to move on to uh, the reverse shot of that. <laughs> and that was it, filming-wise. The post-production took 22 hours, not including the coloring that my brother took on. ADR was done for the running scene and phone calls. Whoa, 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 slow, 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 hold on, hold on, hold on, just give me 10 minutes, all right? Okay, I'll come through the back. You don't need to be afraid. And Foley was done for the footsteps and running as well. As well as making it sound like she's thrashing around on the phone call. Foley is usually the least rewarding part of the filmmaking process for me. Foley, take one. It comes after you're done all the editing, and by that point, you just want to publish your movie already. Okay, we're gonna try that again. And besides doing stuff like this, I don't find it that fun. But the results definitely make it feel more movie-like. Another little tip I want to share is when you're staring at the shot you're, uh, you're kind of framing up and composing for too long, you can look at a mirrored version of it, and this way you kind of see it from a fresh perspective. But there you have it. Overall, I was really happy with how the film turned out and equally happy with how smooth everything went on set. I was especially impressed with how the Crane 2S and Transmount Follow Focus held up, even when holding the red Komodo. I'm excited to use this setup on future projects. Hopefully this gives you some insight into how we made Imposter. Let me know in the comments what genre of short film you want to see next.